Hello, welcome to another video about LSX engines, tuning, and marine. This is a Merc Cruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder engine that I've just got running, and I'm going to show you how, how you set the ignition timing. So, in a previous video, I discussed the Delco EST system uh, on the upgrade on a uh, 4.3 Merc Cruiser. The four cylinders have a similar system. It's a Delco EST, but it's in a four cylinder model. You have a four cylinder distributor, but I believe it's the, it's the same ignition model. I don't know it is because it's the same part number. And so I'm going to show you how to set this up to do the timing. So in that other video on the upgrade, I mentioned that you have to uh, connect these two wires to put into set timing mode. Well, you have two female butt splices, so you really can't connect those together. So what you have to do is or what I did. I just took a, a black ground wire or black wire, bent the copper over, and then I stick each end, um, put these in here like so, and tie these together. I'll do that off camera and then show it to you when I'm done. So um, once you do that, you come up here to your shift kill. And remember, your shift kill, what it does is it takes 12 volts on this wire. And when the shift kill switch engages, when this mechanism here engages that switch, it applies 12 volts to this wire. Well, when these two are disconnected, that 12 volts in that wire kills the ignition. But in this case, we have those connected, so we want to apply 12 volts all the time. So what we do is we pull these, we pull these two apart. We, and we connect the purple and white black wire. Again, I'll do that off camera. So once I've done that, then I can uh, begin to set the timing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those connections and get back with you. Okay, I now have these these two wires that the distributor jumped with just a black jumper wire. And then um, up here at the shift kill, I disconnected the shift kill switch and connected these two wires together. I'll have 12 volts on the purple going to, uh, to the white black. The white black ends up coming down here that turns on your bypass, which makes the uh, ignition run off this wire. Since it's tied together, it's actually running off the signal going out to what would be a fuel injection system. But in this case, it just loops it loops from the uh, the B terminal back in on the A terminal, or excuse me, the uh, R terminal. It's called R and E. It comes out of the R terminal, which is uh, this wire, and comes back in on the E terminal. R is reference. E is electronic spark timing. So I'm about to crank it up, and then I'll show you what the timing looks like. Look down here at this tab. I don't know if you can see that. See, I've got it set on the first notch fourth after zero. So it's set for two degrees after top dead center. And it'll stay there as long as set timing is made. If I change, if I once I disconnect the set timing, the base idle is at approximately 800 RPM. 10 degrees, so the mark will move way up here, in the halfway between 8 and 12. I'll show that to you in a second after I set the put the timing back to normal. I've now returned the engine back to normal operation. I disconnected those two wires, put the shift fuel back the way it's supposed to be, and now the timing is under control of the ignition module. So let's see where it's at. To me, it's just a tad. Right about 1200 or 12 degrees. I think it's supposed to be around 10 and a half to 11, but it's jumping around a little bit. Now it's down below 12, it's moving around a little bit. So this is approximately, it's within a degree of what it's supposed to be. So this is a situation where the same module is controlling, a, will control a V8, a V6, and the four cylinder, all, all in one module. So. There's internal circuitry in the module that recognizes which distributor that it's running on and uses the appropriate timing curve for the engine that it's running. So just want to explain how the uh, ignition timing works on a four-cylinder and how you set the timing on a Merc Cruiser 3.0 liter engine. I'm about to, uh, well, I'm, in I'm, running the, uh, I'm running the engine on water. I'm not running it, uh, the uh, outdrive is not installed yet. I have a method of running it on water. Which I'll show in the future. Right now, this engine is uh, approximately complete, and I'm going to turn it over to the owner tomorrow. Thanks for watching.